Um, hello everyone, we are Monsan Prats, Elizabeth Duke and Natalia Said from Institut Gaudí. And we are going to show you our TED video about video game addiction. We hope you like it. Video game addiction. Currently, teenagers live the illusion of playing on the street. Nowadays, they prefer to spend time in front of a screen. Let's go to see the story of David. David is in his room and starts playing the console at 4 o'clock. What will happen if David doesn't stop playing video games? In the first hour, David dies and starts to get irritated, but he decides to continue playing. He met his friends at half past five, but he lost the notion of time. He looks at the clock and realizes that it's already six, so he decides to go on with the game. This is causing him a social isolation and a loss of the time control. At seven o'clock, he begins to get hungry. However, he doesn't leave the game because he's winning and getting a level up, so he ignores the hunger. This action can lead to suffering from an eating disorder. It's already eight and his mom arrives at home. She asks him how his day was. David ignores her and gets furious. This bad reaction was due to many hours of playing. That debates him from the real world. After dinner with his family, David decides to re-engage the game. Oh no, he realized that he hasn't done his homework. Hmm, he decides not to do it and remains playing. The excess of playing a game can lead to a decrease in academic performance. David is sleepy. It's time for bed. Nevertheless, he continues playing, and the fatigue impedes him from progressing into the game, which is causing him anxiety. A constant anxiety can cause a depression. It's already 12, and his mom tells him to go to bed and she takes with her the David's console. David goes to bed and he notices that his head hurts. David used the console before going to sleep and that caused him a sleep disorder. If David continues with his routine, he could suffer from obesity and heart problems. These are all the consequences we have seen during this video. Eye irritation social isolation, lose the notion of time, eating disorder, dehydration, ire, anxiety, depression, and decrease in academic performance. Consoles can also be good for training our minds, but always with control, and its maximum use of two hours daily. <laughs>